Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve an example from quadratic equations chapter. And this question has appeared in one of the past papers in section D, where each question is of 5 marks. The sum of the ages of a father and his son is 45 years. 5 years ago, the product of their ages in years was 124. Determine their present age. So here we can see that two statements are given. The first statement is, the sum of the ages of a father and his son is 45 years. And the second statement is, 5 years ago, the product of their ages in years was 124. Here, using the two statements, we have to generate two equations. So let me start with the first statement. It is given that sum of the ages of father and son. So here we have written, father's age plus son's age is both together 45 years. So we have generated a mathematical expression. Now let us consider that the father's age is x. So here replacing father's age with x we get in place of father's age we have written x plus son's age is equal to 45. Or rearranging this expression for the son's age we get son's age is equal to 45 minus x that is taking x on the other side of equal to sign. Now once we have done this for the first statement let us focus on the second statement. 5 years ago, the product of their ages was 124. Now we are talking about the past. That is in the past, the product of their ages was 124. So 5 years ago, the father's age is going to be x minus 5 because we are talking about the past. And same thing happens to the son's age as well. Since we are talking about the past, son's age 5 years ago is going to be 45 minus x minus 5. Opening up the brackets, 45 minus x minus 5. Or 45 minus 5 gives us 40, so 40 minus x. Now coming back to the statement they have given, 5 years ago, the product of their ages was 124. So we are going to frame an equation using the father's age and son's age and write it as given father's age times son's age is equal to 124. So father's age we have here as x minus 5 and son's age is 40 minus x. Now the next step is to expand the brackets that is using the FOIL method. So multiplying x with 40, we get here 40x. Now multiplying x with negative x, we get here negative x square. Now multiplying minus 4 with 40, we get minus 200. And minus 5 times minus x gives us plus 5x. Now this equal to 124. Next, let us combine the like terms. That is 40x and 5x are like terms. And taking minus 200 on the other side of equal to sign, these two will get added. So we get 200 plus 124 which is 324. So here combining 40x and 5x we have 45x and taking minus 200 on the other side of equal to sign they add up to give us 324. Now here let us make x square a positive term that is taking these two terms on the right hand side we are going to get it as positive x square positive 45x becomes negative 45x when you take on the right hand side. And since 324 is already on the right hand side, it will stay as a positive number. So this entire expression will be equal to 0. Now we have to prime factorize this given expression. That is finding out the factors of 324 whose product should give us 324 and addition or difference should give us negative 45. So here we get the factors as 36 and 9. That is by prime factorization of 324, you can find out these two factors. Now the multiplication of negative 36 and negative 9 gives you 324 and the addition of these two numbers will give us negative 45. So now we can factorize this given expression as x square minus 9x minus 36x plus 324 is equal to 0. So minus 45 has split up as its factors. Now grouping the first two terms and the last two terms, we have from the first term x as a common factor. So we have taken it out and inside the bracket stays x minus 9. Now from the next two terms, negative 36 is a common factor. So we have taken it out and in the bracket remains x minus 9 equal to 0. Now x minus 9 and x minus 9 is again a common factor. So we have pulled it out. So remaining terms are x minus 36 which becomes the second factor. Now each factor will be equated equal to 0. So we have here x minus 9 is equal to 0 and x minus 36 is equal to 0. So here we have two values of x that is x equal to 9 years or x equal to 36 years. 
but here we have taken the father's age as x so father's age cannot be 9 years so we have to discard this value and take only x equal to 36 years now once we have got the father's age we can find out the son's age by using the expression 45 minus x from the first statement which we had got so let me write here father's age is equal to x is equal to 36 years and son's age we had got it as 45 minus x so here 45 minus 36 gives us 9 years so this is the father's age and son's present age i hope you have understood all the steps and like the video and if you found this video useful then you can click on this playlist where you can find more questions of this kind and if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching